Good afternoon, everyone. T-Speaker 222XRB, Future Millionaire with a side on Axel and Future Digibyte OG. So guys, just a quick update. This is a, literally a quick update. Um, what I'm seeing is we could, like I said before, we're either at the head or we're gonna pop up one more level, but it, it, it kind of seems to me like we're at the head. So I'm highly considering selling because what could possibly be is this could be the left shoulder, the head, right? And we went up so quick to here, we would be like this, then we'd come down. But it's going to be a slow process back down until it finally crashes way below. So, we got to be vigilant. We got to pay attention. If you look at Bitcoin and pull it out a little bit. Let's get into the four hour. I mean, it technically... Came up and finished off this first part of the cup and handle. And that looks like a head. That looks like it could be a left shoulder. Come down. Create that little neckline. Come up to the head. And right now we're fighting to come back down. So I'm probably going to sell mine. Not that I don't think it could go up. But, I mean, the odds of it going up even higher... We kind of, it's one of those things we keep building these head and shoulder formations. And if I'm right, that means the next part down, we're going to come down another couple hundred. But then it's just going to be a consistent downward trend. So, what I'm going to do, and I know it's going to cost me money to sell, but I started at like 34 something after I bought this. So I'm gonna just do it while you guys are on here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And sure, it could go up. It could. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna sell 30,000. Put it into the USD. That's 1688. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's about right. Yeah. So I'm going to put that into the USD. So I lost like, yeah. 50, 45 bucks on that half. So. And I'm going to keep half of it just to see if it bounces off of this level. So if you guys are afraid, I would sell half now. And then you only have to sell half later. So I got 50% in place though. But something tells me. This is either the, like I said, the shoulder developed. And it was just the hip coming up. But this very well could be the head. Because this is hitting the, the first target dead on. And I can't not acknowledge that. And I even said if it got up to six and died, I'd be happy. And that's exactly what it did yesterday. So I've got to acknowledge that that could be the head. And it kind of, you know, came up to the double or mid top. We're going to find out a lot very quickly, though. So if you're afraid, I would do exactly what I did. Not even afraid, but if you want to take and capitalize on profits, because guys, I was up like three, four hundred dollars. Now about three fifty after that first sellout, so I'm gonna lose about a hundred dollars of profit. So I hope to be out around like thirty seven hundred dollars is my goal, or thirty six fifty minimum in my portfolio, because I started with like thirty four something after I had to pay the fees. But I started at thirty five oh three, had to pay fees, then I was down under. I was way down. I was like 35.53, then I got down to 34.30 or some shit after the fees, and then it went down initially, barely. And then, uh, now you see where we're at. We're at 3,800, but selling out, I lost like, what was that, 35, 40 bucks on the first part. So I'll lose about 80 bucks to DGB when I sell it. But honestly, to me, we get back into the, is it worth it? Knowing what's coming. It's a tricky one, guys. But I wanted to do this video so that you guys could see it. We're right back on the support lines now. So if we fail to bust up here, 
we're just going to continue to crash. This is like the last ditch chance right now to bounce off of this. In my opinion, if it was going to bounce off it, I would have done it earlier. See? Like, we went to a head, we came down, now we're just on a right shoulder. That's all this is. So, that's in the weekly, but now we have enough confirmation to show that. Come up to this. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're on a head. If I'm looking at this logically, I think we're on a head. So, I, just because I have to pay attention to the chart, sure, it could go up. I'm selling out of my positions. I'm fully liquidating now. And it could go up. It really could. But I don't got time to be looking at all this and do the charts. I'm just happy where I'm at. I'm happy I ended up making a few hundred bucks. I improved my position. Let's see where we end up after I sell everything out. Yes, psychologically, guys. So I went from 34. You guys seen yesterday. Where did we go down to? So I was here. Then we went down to here when we bought it. So basically, I got all that for 100 bucks. But when we got down to the bottom, we started at 34, 35. Worked our way up to 38, 52 at the top. And then after the sellout, so about 145 bucks. So all that for 145 bucks, but it's $145 more. And now my portfolio is over 3,700. And sure, it wasn't a huge gain. A couple, it was like 300 bucks, but after the or 350 dollar gain. But after the in and outs, I've only got about 148 bucks. But it's 148 dollars north of where I started, and now I got 148 dollars more to spend on the crash. I'm comfortable. I'm out. I don't have to worry about the rest. I still think it could have a potential bounce. Still, like I said. Um, I got very lucky because when I sold DGB, it was at five. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody bought it and I was selling into it. So that's why the second half didn't come out as bad. So that worked out very well. But I'm telling you, this could have one more bounce up. You know, and if there was, I would pick something that I was like, oh, it's, it's definitely going to bounce up. And at this point, if I was looking through, I really don't see what I would pick. But this is what I would be looking at. But that kind of did what everything else did after. So it's kind of hard just to pick that one. Because if you look. That left shoulder. Yeah, you never know. That's what I'm saying. I think we could get one more boost up. But you never know. It just looks like that could be a head. And that's exactly. The problem is, is why I sold out is it did exactly what I said. So even if it goes up, I know this is a miracle. And there would have to be another pump. I'm not sure there's going to be another pump. And since it did exactly what my drawing says, it's time for me to get out towards the top of this pattern. So, t speaker 222 XRP, Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Did You Bite OG. They all look like they've created this head, guys. And uh, when we didn't bounce up right there in that last four-hour trend... And now we're kind of consolidating again off of this one. So I think this is the start of the end. We had that sideways. You could look at the W and the pattern, a nice sideways initially and then up. And I think we finished off that cup and handle that we were talking about before, the lower tier cup and handle to here. I just don't think we have enough steam. I told you I'll update this on the fly. I think we don't have enough steam to go to the top, but we finished off the small cup and handle. We have to acknowledge that, and I think it's time to move on, guys. So I'm not a financial advisor. Should you take my advice? No. But if you do, you can get on on these gains, even if they're minimal. And I'll get you out while you still have these gains, because it's going to collapse, and it's going to collapse hard once it does. Sure, there could be 4 or 5 or even 10% left. We don't know. But to me, it looks like a head and shoulders. I'm going to trust my charting instinct, and I'm going to get out with profit every time. And at the end of the day, we win. So join Tom's Army, $9.99 a month. <coughs> be part of the elusive community that the public can't see. You must be part of Tom's Army or above to get the private videos that are loaded up to the community. 
private community tab that I created. So I upload both videos. The one to the public's delayed one hour and it gets hit with a bunch of douchebags in there. The members only area, you don't have to deal with the douchebags. The Johnny Come Latelys, you get to have a community that's all about the same thing. We all want to prosper and we all not only love XRP and our other collectible coins, or our um, iOS or ISO 20022 coins, but we understand the future. And if you want to be part of it, be part of the revolution, join now. Stay true, stay blessed.